like, and subscribe right now, or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. There's nothing better than taking a beach chair out, catching some rays, and dipping toes in the water on a beautiful beach. But beware, danger could be lurking too, as some of the most popular tourist beaches in the world are riddled with danger. From pollution to sea creatures like sharks and jellyfish, these dangers can ruin your vacation and potentially kill you. So let's check out the most dangerous beaches in the world. Number one will literally surprise you, so watch out for that. Number 10. Acapulco Acapulco was once the most iconic Mexican vacation destination. Think spring break, cliff divers, golden sand, and year-round sunshine. These are just a few of the attractions that make the city one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world. While all of this is still here, Acapulco's reputation as a vacation resort now has to compete with the darker claim to fame, that of the second place murder capital of the globe. Over recent years, the state of Guerrero and Acapulco particularly became the scene of a vicious conflict between rival drug cartels. In 2019 alone, there were a staggering 2,316 murders here. Within the United States of America State Department's travel advisories, Acapulco is given a danger rating resembling Afghanistan and Asian countries. They state violent crime like killing, kidnapping, carjacking, and theft is widespread. That said, Acapulco is still getting by like a vacation resort. Admittedly, numbers are way down on the heydays back within the 70s. However, several Americans still make it down there and back, surprisingly. There are a growing number of Mexican holidayers visiting. The recommendation appears to remain within the tourist areas. Keep your wits about you and definitely don't go looking to score drugs. Number 9. Skeleton Coast Wondering whose skeletons reign the grounds of the coast? Might be humans, might not be, but definitely countless ships have been destroyed at the coastline due to the countless ships have been destroyed at this coastline due to the scary Benguela current. That makes you think that this frighteningly named coastline is appropriately named. Not only does the lethal Benguela regularly cause shipwrecks, but the surrounding waters are home to 11 species of shark. Oh, and predators including lions and hyenas can be found patrolling the beach. It's little wonder that Portuguese navigators used to have another name for this coast as well, the Gates of Hell. Number 8. Boy Vegum Beach Boy Vegum is the upmarket beachfront district of the northern Brazilian city of Recife. Here, you will find palm-lined golden sand beaches backed by shiny new high-rise buildings. The cafes and bars are always bustling, and the beach itself is a hub of activity. Imagine this now. It's hot, the sun is out, and there are lovely little waves breaking just off the beach, but nobody is in the water deeper than their knees. Look closer, and you'll see why. Along the beach are over 100 signs warning swimmers and banning surfers from entering the water. The reason why? Boy Vegum has one of the highest highest numbers of fatal shark attacks anywhere on Earth. Since 1992, there have been over 60 attacks reported on this stretch of coast, 24 of which were fatal. What is strange about the beaches of Recif is that until the 1990s, there were practically no attacks. It is believed that the sudden rise in numbers is due to the development of nearby Port Soup, which involved diverting the flow of several rivers. One theory is that this prevented bull sharks from accessing the river diverting them to the shores of the Rishif's beaches. Number 7. Nazir Beach Nazir is one of the most seasoned and prevalent holiday resorts in Portugal's Atlantic coast. Each summer, the beaches of the conventional fishing town become popular for holidaying Portuguese families. It is additionally home to a few shocking bathymetries, with a deep ocean trench indicating from deep water straight to the oceanside town. The effect of this is often to pipe already gigantic Atlantic swells straight into the town's northern shore. Shoreline. By the time the waves hit the coast, they are tremendous. It has made Nazir a very popular surfing destination. Its very high breaking waves form due to the presence of the underwater Nazir Canyon. As the canyon creates constructive interference between the incoming swell waves, it makes their heights much larger on this stretch of coast. The greatest waves ever surfed, in fact, at over 30 meters. 
Such waves are possibly deadly to the foremost experienced of surfers, kitted out with specialist gear, let alone the normal beachgoer. Number 6. Hanaka Pai Beach the wonderful and secluded Hanakapai Beach is found on Kauai's Napali coast. In any case, if you do make the long climb along the Kalu Trail through the woods and get there, you may be welcomed with a caution sign which keeps account of the number of individuals who have passed on here. The number currently stands at over 80 people. It appears that the Hanakapai shoreline is one of the foremost unsafe places on the soil to go for a dip owing to a combination of components. Firstly, there are no lifeguards here, and conceivably no one else to assist either. But this alone offers no clarification to the stunning number of drownings here. Unlike most of the Hawaiian coastline, there's no offshore reef here to provide shelter from the control of the sea. But it is the solid riptides here which are the killer. These concealed streamlines are shaped by the water the waves thrust towards the shoreline, depleting back into the ocean. They are quick and it is nearly impossible to swim against them. The only way is to swim over them. Number 5. Reunion Island the untainted tropical gathering island could be a French dependency set within the Indian Sea. With an interior of rainforest, secured volcanic peaks, and a coastline of coral reefs and flawless white sand shorelines, it ought to be on every beach lover's bucket list. But beneath the regularly calm waves, there is a dangerous menace. In most places on the planet with a reputation as being a bit sharky, individuals tend to just carry on. Swimmers still swim, Surfers still surf, and divers still jump. This is not the case in Reunion, as for an island with a solid tourist trade, it is a pretty drastic step to boycott swimming and surfing on most beaches as a result of the number of attacks. Since 2011, there have been over 20 shark assaults here, of which 8 were lethal. In 2017, Reunion accounted for about half the deadly assaults around the world, driving it to be named Shark Assault Capital of the World. Number 4. Arnhem Land Beaches Arnhem Land and Top End is home to a massive population of both saltwater and freshwater crocodiles. This is a real shame as many of the beaches here such as Galaru and Boaca are absolutely amazing. Uncrowded stretches of pearl white sand, clear waters, and swaying palms. However, it's hard to relax even out of the water when you know what may be lurking there. If you were to enter the water and we'd really suggest that you don't, then there's always the risk of being stung by one of two dangerous species of jellyfish. The box jellyfish, with its two meter long tentacles loaded with thousands of venomous stingers, can at the very least deliver an agonizing sting. At worst, it will kill you, especially given the remoteness of some of these beaches. The same is true for the Irukandji jellyfish, which is possibly even more venomous. In addition, the sting can lead to Irukandji syndrome a condition lasting up to several days, with one of the symptoms being a sense of impending doom. Of course, all the other usual suspects can also be found here, including sharks, stonefish, and even the blue-ringed octopus. Number 3. Chow Patty Beach Mumbai's Chow Patty Beach is one of the world's most polluted in the world, making the sea here unfit for swimming, according to the Telegraph. The sands on this beach are full of debris and scraps from salvaged ships, which could physically harm people and the waters are full of dumped waste and disposal from the city of Mumbai. The beach's waters have only gotten more polluted since 2011, when the MV Rex sank and spilled 60,000 metric tons of coal in the water, and it was never recovered too. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, swimming in polluted waters may result in illness such as diarrhea or sore throat, or even more serious illness in children, the elderly, and people with weakened immune systems. Number 2. Cape Tribulation Explorer James Cook gave the Cape Tribulation its ominous name after his ship struck the reef, stating that here began all our troubles. The name, however, isn't enough to scare people off. Australians and people from all over the world travel to Cape Tribulation to stand in awe of its clear blue waters, soft sand, and the sublime Daintree rainforest. Unfortunately, it's also full of snakes, jellyfish, crocodiles, and cassowaries. Cassowaries don't exactly look threatening, but the flightless bird can kill people. As tempting as the pristine waters look, you'd be foolish to wade into them. Saltwater crocodiles are often spotted on the sands, 
or surfing in the waves. A woman was attacked on the beach in 2017. Plus, the world's deadliest jellyfish might just make an appearance too. Box jellyfish swarm around the northern part of Australia from November to May. Number 1. Gansby, South Africa It's time for the scariest beach in the world. Gansby has been called the great white shark capital of the world because of the sheer number of these dangerous predators found lurking off the coast. That is the reason the beaches are so dangerous. According to the newspaper Telegraph, the sharks are attracted to the area by the colony of 60,000 fur seals living on the small channel of water between Dyer Island and Geyser Rock, also called Shark Alley. As dangerous as these waters can be, visitors can safely get up close to these scary creatures by going cage diving with a reputable tour company. Which of these beaches do you want to visit and take a dip? Tell us in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to our channel.